so yeah daredevil 17 has a preview for strange academy as well um it's probably got a lower print run than strange academy number one i don't know definite that fact, mm-hmm. but definite. yeah um and it's a good story and everything strange academy is blowing up you know, and so. i know jr has one right because yeah yeah oh, hell yeah well, hell yeah me too yeah J- jr sleeps with it at night it's right next to like right it's right on his column how much you got Daredevil AKA going his for? dresser you can get uh, a raw one for 20 bucks 20 bucks 20 that's bucks. the cheapest you can ever get it raw buddy <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i like it raw yeah oh baby i like it raw yeah I man strange people, academy all the way i don't think people know i don't think people know about that Darede- daredevil preview right like it's yeah it's the one you want all the other ones the venom ones and whatever else they came with those are high print ones you know no one was Thor. getting daredevil Thor, and Thor. Just, yeah i would also say just add this book to your pool right yeah don't even something's think something's gonna happen don't even think twice something's gonna happen they're gonna add a a character another character is gonna appear you know um maybe a new recruit comes in halfway through the uh the, uh, the run um maybe a villain shows up you're, you're not gonna want to miss uh, i don't know random issue 17 of this run where something cool happens mm-hmm. watch they put carol danvers sister in there her half sister for whatever reason I mean, I would like to see some more first appearances in the series. Uh, maybe uh, the the opposite of the Strange Academy. Maybe there's like a that would be dope. The uh, right. Cast Academy. Yeah, well, they're called the I don't know Gotham the, Academy. The Evil Academy. I don't know. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Call them the illicit. Call them the illicit Academy. Right. They're Hydra's Hydra's group of people or Ames group of people that they put together. There's just a ton of possibilities that can go down in this particular series. And if you guys haven't paid attention yet, like Ian was saying, and you see a Strange Academy book on the shelf, get it. Just get but it. You know, be- you know it's another book that's starting to pop off a little bit? Is X-Men number three, the um, Empire number three. Because Magic changed her name. Now she's like the zombie queen or something. And she went full on like Dark Goblin Child. Queen? Oh yeah, that's Not that Goblin cover. Queen. That cover that just came out, right? Well, that one number four comes out this week. If you pick that oh. one up, oh I, yeah, there's that, that cover looks badass. But there's one from last week where she shows up. She grabs like this staff and becomes like the Zombie Queen. Is what she she has a full title. Hmm. Um, and that one's starting to pick up a little heat, I think too. I know it was getting pushed by one of the key collector. I think was pushing it. I heard. Someone yeah, pushing she's it. Uh, definitely an HBIC, you know, or an yeah. HBC, not the uh, HBIC. Yeah. You know kind of. I mean, I'm just kind of skipping uh, Empire, man. You know, I don't. I don't know if I'm the only one, but not the only one. I haven't me, read it not yet. The only one. I'm. Uh, I'm starting this next week, picking up all issues uh, that I bought. In or that I bought and then just kind of zoom, zoom through it it's, see how it goes. It's been a good read in general. It's not got, anything amazing. Yeah, I got the regular issue, just the regular line, not the the not the other spin-offs, whatever, but... Oh, the tie-ins? Yeah, I, and I'm particularly getting the Michael Cho covers. They look, they all look like... Um, Oh, like yeah. post, like old, like posters from like the yeah. 50s and 40s. I yeah, missed I out know. on those, man. I, I I had them set and checked, and then I, I regret it now. Because uh, yeah, you're right. All those covers look amazing. Yeah. And so, Ian, or uh, Jr., you're right. That Laroca variant of Empire Four. It's already 11 bucks on eBay. Oh, so, no, I mean, that Laroca double cover. Yeah, for, for double X-Men. cover. Yeah. X Men Empire Four with her just gone full demon on the cover. Yeah, okay, I got you. Last week. Yeah, I actually saw that at our LCS, man. I was like, eh. Sin, she's sinful. You should pick I want to get anything that has magic on the cover because it's they magic. are pushing her for the New Mutants movie. Like she's on everything. Man, I just been yeah. picking up a bunch of one sixties, bro. I have like, I have like, I have, I have a couple handfuls. You know, I <laughs> just see them everywhere. I see which, them, I, every time you- I go. Every time I go into a shop, there's a 160 there, so I'm just buying. Did you them. say you have about 25 trades of it? I have, and two sets. And two sets. I got two, <laughs> 25 and two. Sets. Do we want to talk about this? I mean, yeah. So, what did you guys? What did you guys? 
Yeah, what do you guys think about the um, the Peach from Uncle cover, the Vader one that came out with? Uh, I, I love it. Scorpion. It was amazing, but that Dope, thing man. sold out at two oh one. Two oh one. Yeah, like that. It already man, went the set. At the it snap of a finger. <laughs> Bro, I, yeah, man, well, I had it in a cart, and it just uh, as I was going in, it said sold out. I'm like, oh damn. So it's one of the problems. Like I mean, that? Like, like and it went on the trade. Frankie spoils us, and so does Comic Mint. And a couple others, where they go, hey, you can you can buy it, but you can only buy so many of them. Yeah, just buy one, right? Hey, spoiled even, even would mean that we all get one. We don't all get okay. one. We have to sign okay. up like everybody else. Oh, yeah. But I mean, Everybody's we all have an equal F5. chance of getting no, not one us. or two. Not us. The group, <laughs> the group on Facebook. Yeah. To me, to me, that's that's being spoiled because at least he's looking out not just to make a buck. He's also trying, like at least with Kevin. He is trying to get everyone at least a copy. Yeah, um, even Steven. Steven's a yeah, good guy too at the yeah, Comic S- Man. I Steven mean, Comic Man. Unknown as well. I mean. Yeah. But Scorpion. What's up, Steven? Why can't I get in, bud? All you guys are in except yeah. for me. It's Scorpion You're not part of the ha- intro, bro. does not have a filter at all. If you want to buy 50 copies of a book, they go, give me your credit card. Um, and it actually leads to like some guy I saw today, which Ian's gonna be nice enough and hopefully put the post right here. We're showing not put this on blast. We're gonna take out the name. Okay, uh, well, right there. L Dickhead um, posted in a Peach group. Oh yeah, because everyone's complaining they didn't get one. Oh yeah, I got two of the sets and I got 25 copies. Hmm. I'm just like, not good, man. I'm like, a. You own a company. You own a company. I won't name the store. Won't put them on blast. But you could have probably talked to Scorpion and made some deal behind the scenes, and no one would know. No one would care. But to come out and say that, to me, that's like okay. I'm not gonna spend any money at your store. I mean, it's just, it's just rude. But don't you know it's about dabbing on the haters now, dude? It's, it's about like getting 25. 25 and uh, two sets, right? And then dabbing on the haters. Yeah. And then hitting them with, uh, don't be a snowflake. You know, you I, I mean, yeah. Dragon, basically. It's uh, my free country, is, dude. Yeah. I'm making money, man. Okay, shut up, Trump. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> making money. I mean, my, ulti- my th- ultimately, thing that's is, what it drives, you know? Ultimately, my thing that's is, what it's driving. At least lie and say only got 10. Or at least don't. 10. Or, just, or, well, or don't how, say how, it. How about don't, don't bring it out anything. there, right? Hey, man, yeah. like, don't yeah. say anything. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. I'm, a, I I'm imagine, a person. Yeah, go ahead, Steve. Go, go. No, no. I was going to say, I imagine, you know, if you're a collector, like, and, and most people are, I mean, like, Kevin is a collector. Steven's a collector. You, you have to be a collector if you're opening up comic book shops, obviously. Um, and it's in a driven business. It's uh, proven. There's numbers there. There's, you know, so many artists that are coming out. Um that it just you for a collector to see that especially if you're coming in new or even if you're old i mean you're a seasoned vet in, in the comic-con lines and whatnot it's not a good thing to see it's just not good for your business model either on a business tip i mean you want to make sure that i mean people are buying from you and that could leave that could leave a sale right out the door you know like oh man this person did that you know um I mean, there's going to be haters, but and, and as well in these forums, and there are. I mean, they're yeah. you know upset, and rightfully so. Um, but I guess in, in this kind of uh, co- collecting game that we are all in, I mean, it's just you just end up picking up and move forward. Next thing, yeah. but it's just in it's just in poor taste, I think. Yeah, I mean, could have been, yeah. been done de- dealt with a little more differently. My Gosh. thing is just be classy, man. Like you know, if you, I, I'm not trying to hate on anybody's game. You know, like I mean. I'm just not, you know, like if you get 25, hey, good on you, man. Like, but just don't put it on blast for people who are trying to get that book and just shove it in their face and say, hey, I got 25, you got zero. Now give me $300, you know, like put it on eBay, man. Like just put it on eBay and, and you have to do it with your full name there. Like people in that group know who you are, man. Like it's it's not, yeah. it's not, it's not classy, man. Like just be, just be classy. You know, like I'm not trying to hate on the game, you know, like it's all good. I mean, we all, we all got our game, you know, just be classy about it, right? Well, and my and my thing is, I don't mind people flipping. We all do it. Yeah. But there's flipping and going. Okay, I I got five or ten to flip. 
then there's just going, okay, I got a special on a print run of like 700. And you're like, yeah, I got 25. I mean, if you think about that, that's that's what? Almost almost half or about 5% of the total? Something like that. I mean, that's just like going, okay, that's just being rude. But I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not as bad. I, I saw another company, and I won't put them on blast, but supposedly... This one guy got four orders of the Venom flag wearing cover, the the homage to the the Carnage. Oh, oh yeah, the yeah. Crane. And he got four sets, two for him and two for his buddy, which is fine because that's the rules. And they ended up they took his money and everything. And then he got a refund like a week later for half his money back. And they canceled two of the sets. But then supposedly the owner's brother is up on yeah. eBay selling them for like four hundred dollars each set, yeah. and supposedly they've been doing this for a while. And they do, oh, we're we're almost out of this thing, and they do this big, big updo to do about it. And they go, like three months later, they go, oh look, we just found another stack of these in the back. We're gonna jack up the price because there's not very many left. Yeah, they're full of shit. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that, and that's just bad business in general. Kills the, kills the community. There'll always that, be some a buyer, though. There'll always be a Huckleberry, right? But yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not good sucker. for your business. But yeah, if there's, it's not good for your business model. I mean, especially I mean, if you're older and you and you're in, in the business yourself. I mean, if you're in sales, then you look at that and you're like, mm-hmm, not a good move there, champ. It's not just it's just not good for your reputation as a person or a company you know i just gotta say and the funny thing is we're nerds we will figure out for yourself yeah yeah well we will figure out that we're getting hosed if you don't think if you think you're getting over on nerds you're not you may get people one time maybe twice but when they stop coming and buying stuff and you start going out of business, it's going to be because there's a thread on Reddit saying, hey, don't buy from these companies because they're full of shit. I mean, we're not nerds because we're stupid. We're nerds because we're fucking smart, you know? <laughs> I mean, and we're Do vindictive. That, I've got a lot we're of free vindictive. time to sit, sit and figure shit out. <laughs> <laughs> or he, he just got Groot. You just got an ongoing. Hope your bosses aren't watching this, Jr. <laughs> uh, he he got that rock him like master, thinking of a but master. But the thing about it, but the thing about it, people are gonna figure this out, right? Because like we all we have our 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 thread that we have that we talk about comics, and one of us is gonna figure out and tell all tell the rest of the five, and the five is gonna t- tell twenty five, twenty five will tell fifty, and then you're gonna be on a podcast like this. Or we're telling about a hundred people. We're going to tell another hundred people. So think about it like that, man. Like next time, you know, you, hey, man, good on your game, bro. Good on your game. Hey, you got twenty five and two trades. Just don't put it out there with your name, bro. Like that's not <laughs> game not. at all. That's like no class and stupid. He's all like, and bro, Scorpion fix your the fucking plug. website. <laughs> you know, it's like oh man, um, that's 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 all yeah, I got. Be- that's it. That's all. I think that's all we got to say about that. But um, yeah. in closing, um, you know, keep your game tight, keep your game straight. You know, just keep it classy. That's 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 you know, if it's not classy, don't do it. You know, that's and keep that's it all to yourself. Say. Keep it tight. Keep your game tight, man. Like in Oakland, that's what we do. We keep our we keep our game tight. Just keep your game tight. Um, yeah, but as Raider fans, we always lose. Yeah, uh, I know. Ain't that the truth? Shit. At and, least and, not the Cowboys. And don't post. You have 25, oh, 25, uh, 25 copies with your full name. <laughs> that's not, that's, that, that is not cool, man. So, um, but in, in closing, man, we want to thank everybody for joining us. And uh, we want to thank, uh, again, um, all, all, all the support. Um, and just remember, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, it really uh, helps us support our show. Um, and JR, where else can they find us, man? It's this Team Nerd Herd podcast crew. You can find us on Instagram and on Facebook as Team Nerd Herd Podcast, all one word. Um, you can go on there. You could talk shit with us, see the polls, maybe pry information out of us. I'm not telling you anything, though. Um, 
Yeah, we want to hear from you guys. I mean, tell us what yeah. your likes are for the week. I mean, we might be completely different as far as your picks. I mean, we might have something totally off base and you might be, you know, pointing us in the right direction of a good story as well. I mean, we want to hear from yeah. you guys. Holla at your boys. And uh, don't we, forget we about... And don't forget about my homies, uh, my, my homie Alonzo over here. He got the movies and shows with Comic and Pots where he's doing a review of, uh, you know, movies and TV shows that, you know, are, that we all find interesting. And that you, you just go and check him out. It's really good, you know. Um, you want to tell him more, a little bit more about that, Alonzo? Sure. We have a new show. Again, movies and shows, as you mentioned. And um, we re have reviewed Warrior Nun as well as uh, Old Guard. And what's coming soon was is Bloodshot. And then we we'll also have some other shows on the pipe. We're probably going to be doing uh, Umbrella Academy seasons one and two. The boys. Don't sleep, y'all. That's right. The boys. What and about also, Powers? Also, there's, there's also a couple of other ones. So stay tuned. And and he'll let us know if he really really likes them or really really doesn't like them. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> I, but Umbrella Academy, man, don't miss out. Like that is a great second season. Oh yeah, oh, the, it's number epic. five makes the whole show, man. Yeah, oh. number five. I just like yeah, the way he dude. walks, man. Like it's all about oh, man. number he's five. A bad, he's he a like that. he's a bad motherfucker, yo. Yeah. I mean, I if, if you guys haven't watched it and you haven't watched the end, I mean, you got to respect that 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 man, dude. I was like, number five got game, man. Number five, yeah. number five's game is tight. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. He say. keeps it <laughs> real tight. I'm looking forward to that power zone. I think it's called Power Powers. The Jamie Foxx show? No, that's oh, called that? uh, Project Power. Project, Project Power. Power. Powers it. was the Brian yeah, McIntyre right? thing that that's was on. Too. Oh, yeah. Tony. Yeah, it was sick. Yeah, yeah, I wish I would have seen the Michael Bendis one because I love the book. Oh, that was Project really good. Power, yeah. Project Power is worth two hours shows. of my life. That movie's good. It's good. Project Power is okay. Yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's save it for uh, Alonzo's thing. <laughs> and, and maybe we might get more stuff coming down the road. I'm trying to twist some arms. Make some rub, suggestions. Rub some for bellies and, and put some arms. <laughs> he needs don't a tell, hug, don't man. Tell he needs that, a... Yeah. In the comments Cuddle below. Group. Comment, comment. Yes. You know. But Porter, again, please. I want to thank. I want to thank. I want to thank uh, my homie out there in, in Oakland, Darian Brody. Um, I'm gonna put his uh, link to all his music down here in uh, in our in our comments. Um, go and check him out. He has a a, a Facebook and a and an Instagram page. He, he does some sick beats. Um, and I also want to keep thanking DJ, Abom DJ Abomination for all his beats and um, our marquee, our marquee song. That's our intro. Um, but I am going to ask. Um, let me see here. Rokeslaw, what's up, man? You want to send us off? Yeah. If you want to do it right, collect what you like. <laughs>